Last time on Shadow Over Kerkonos, a simple missing persons job has become the talk of the town in the shadowy streets of Kerkonos, where normally the local collective run by the esoteric Crawford Cyrillish would have no problem completing such a task. This particular job has proven to be a particular challenge. All who have attempted it have gone missing, leading to many to avoid the job entirely. However, three unlikely allies have congregated to attempt this ill-begotten task. Roselia Tor, a charming performer and native of Kerkonos, Valerus Aaron, a researcher from across the sea seeking forbidden knowledge, and Maseo Takeda, a warrior who has traveled far and wide in hopes of helping the people of Kerkonos. After gathering information from a variety of friends within the city, the party are now meeting with their contact, the mysterious Kalia Solfero, in hopes of unraveling the conspiracy that lies at the heart of this cursed job. Alright, alright, I'm sure you guys get the gist. Without further ado, let's get started. So you guys find yourselves standing in front of uh, the flat slash apartment where Kalia lives. She told you she is in the loft, which is on the top floor. Would you like to make your way inside? Yes, indeed. After you, big man. Maseo is going to head up in front. And you said there is like a stairway going up, right? Yep, there's a stairway going up. He heads over to the top of the stairs, looks over, and he gives a good, like, rapping at the door. All right. Gives a rap, rap, rap. You guys follow through. Um, I'm assuming uh, Rose is next and yep. then Falvers is last. Yep. Rounding up the back. Rounding mm-hmm. up the back. So you guys head upstairs. You give a nice rap, rap, rap on the door. The door swings open by itself. You don't see anyone inside, like, immediately. Oh, I don't like that. That's not mm. good. Okay. Maybe we I mean, you're just seeing the living room. But it's so we're, we're in the living room right now, you said, right? No, you're, no, you're, I'm assuming you, you, until you say I enter, I am assuming you haven't yet. Gotcha. But the door hasn't oh. opened yet. The door has opened. You by are itself. looking into the living room. Yeah, by itself. That's not good. I'm going to use my uh, telekinetic hand, and I'm going to force the door the rest of the way open. You force the door the rest of the way open? Yeah, like gently kind of... If it, if it goes, if I remember right, if it has a bit of strain, it'll stop because it, it can't push more than like 15 pounds. Okay, you, it, there's no strain. You push the door open and, and there's like a, you, there, you look into the living room. Or have you walked inside? I'm gonna walk inside. Are right, you walk inside. Follow after him. Um, I'll, you walk inside. I'll be out here. I'll observe. I'm just gonna okay. kind of watch from the outside because I don't want to walk in there just yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, immediately, what you notice is this is a nice place. It's very nice, actually. Uh, you, none of you guys could afford this. Um, it's a home, but it certainly does not feel like one. There is a fine, like, cake of dust over most of the furniture and the sofa and the tables. There's no flowers. There's no decoration at all. It is very unlived in. Mm. Maseo walks over and he kind of brushes his hand over is there any like furniture like a desk or anything like that um you're currently yeah, there's a table there's like a mm. coffee table and you see there's dust kind of accumulating over it he's gonna place yeah, two fingers just like like sweeping it over it's a lot of dust so it so it's like caked on his fingers and he kind of rubs it between them for a second yeah. Maseo Rose, are you two still alive? We're still here, Professor. Don't worry. Okay. She hasn't been here in some time. No one has. Mm. This could what? Just... You hear a voice. Oh, Callie, is that you? Guys? you? <laughs> oh yeah, hi. She like comes into the living room. Why are you all just sitting here? It didn't say anything? We knocked. Oh. Say looks around at, with the state of the furniture and everything. 
And I'm just gonna take a wild guess. Did you break into this house? No, no. This is this is my this is mine. Um, I, I just I just I. Uh, uh, I, I just, uh, it's like a mattress, really. I don't really live here. I, I just sort of sleep here sometimes. It's just a place to, like, put up my cloak, you know? I don't actually take off my cloak, though. Um, I kind of show actually, the oh, dust between my fingers. Like, <laughs> I can see you don't take care of the place. It's, you know, I'm working a, a lot, you know? Right. That's like, play, play. yeah. Um, did the doctor leave? He's outside. No, no I'm he's still there. Yeah, I just he's like yelling sure. from outside. Yeah, you can I'm come in, Professor. <laughs> All right, safe. I just wanted to make sure that nothing was going to, you know, explode or anything like that. Uh, yeah. Before well, I, is, uh, before I go in, can measures. I like take does a the peek what? down the stairs and see if there's any signs we were followed? Oh yes, make a perception check. Okay. I don't like how excited Ooh. you were for that. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'm just happy that somebody was responsible and, you know. Because I am an academic. I'm a pussy, but I'm intelligent. Yeah. Smart. <laughs> a giant Smart brain. I want that uh, to be his quote for the Twitter he post. <laughs> yeah, that's the opening. That's right. his yeah. quote. Uh, yeah. That's a 13. <laughs> you don't think anyone has followed you. Okay, but, they have. <laughs> but they definitely have. But they definitely have. I'm too intelligent to be snuck up on, and then I close the door behind me. <laughs> you probably weren't snuck up on. I, I have some security measures on the building. No one actually lives here except for except for me. Hmm. Well, I'll, I'll live here. You know, you can tell. I just like you know. Sorry. Uh, do do you want to sit? Do, do, I, I'm baking. I'm baking some muffins. Do you want some muffins? Um, do I? Do we sure. smell baking muffins? Do you smell baking muffins? As she opened the door, you smelled them a while ago, but she just brought them up. <coughs> sure. So it's the only thing that smells like this place is musty as fuck, and then there's yeah, just musty. like the the smell of muffins just out of nowhere. Yeah. Like it comes out of left muffins. field. Oh, yeah. I can imagine it's like that smell where like you turn on like a stove after it's been off for a really long time. Yeah. Like, this is like the noise. first time uh, someone's turned it on. Yeah. And, like, Actually, oh. as you as you guys go into the kitchen, it looks like this is one of the only parts of the uh, the entire loft that is frequently used. You see one chair, one lonely chair at the dining table. It appears that she lives here alone. She just has like fantasy pizza boxes just like stacked up over here. <laughs> like ramen yeah. cups, whatever. Like. Yeah, like fantasy <laughs> cup ramen. When you're single in your 30s. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, no no such things exist in this world yet. But God imagine, actually shame. the muffins, Dang. the muffins smell pretty damn good. Well, uh, is there like a table where she's like setting it out, it looks like, or? They're still baking. Oh, yeah, sorry. There. Sorry. Um, yeah, they're still baking. Um, I I can get some extra chairs. Give me a sec. She runs to the next room and grabs some extra chairs. So I kind of oh, awkwardly never... stand by the table <laughs> yeah. where there's no chairs. <laughs> just yeah. kind of like looking around, just trying to think of yeah. something to talk about. <laughs> um, I never <clears throat> pegged her as a baker. I guess she's got some surprises. I guess. Uh, could Rose... This isn't exactly the most hospitable place. No, I definitely believe her when she says she lives alone. I get yeah. that feeling, too. Hmm. Uh, she could... comes back with three chairs. Yeah, could, we could weren't Rose talking take, about like, just... <laughs> <laughs> It's okay if you were. Could okay. Rose do, like, a general just sort of perception check around the house? Just, like, if there's sort of two things. Like, see if there's any type of, like, um... Like personal items of sort, I guess. Like whether it's pictures and things, or if things just places. Yeah, just make a make a perception totally check. Just... All right. Keep in mind, unless you're much making it subtle, she will notice you scoping out her place. Gotcha. Oh, uh, she. Or she just won't be subtle. She's, she's just looking. Yeah, right. And just start opening cabinets and say, "Hey, this looks like your uh, your <laughs> wife for." <her." laughs> yeah. Uh, sh- perception eight. That's ten. Okay. Okay, so a couple of things that you obviously noticed. She does not seem to have any family photographs, though on the wall, it looks like she's, like, nailed a letter to the, to, like, the kitchen wall. Um, like, like, she meant to display it like a, like a painting or something, but it's just, like, a letter. 
uh, you cannot see anything on it. It's closed. Mm. She just okay. nailed this thing to the wall. Yeah. yeah. Haphazardly. What kind of psychopath are we dealing with? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, do you want the muffins? By the way, I think they're done. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, Kalia. What? What? Yeah. What is this piece bring of the chairs, parchment the that you've just oh, nailed to the wall here? She did bring the chairs. Okay. It's just work stuff, okay? I, I put it up there, and I thought I'd forget it, so just, it's, it's nothing. Just leave it alone. You just nail stuff to your walls. I mean, lots of people nail stuff to their to their walls. Not single pieces of parchment, Kalia. Make yeah, an that's insight a check. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, criticizing her interior decorating right now. <laughs> I don't even also, care another it's... thing that uh, that that Nova uh, Rose noticed, uh, there is a long case, like for an instrument, but it's long. Mm, you okay. said insight. Insight. Eighteen. Hey. Finally. Uh, Fine, hold finally. Hold on. Finally. Hold on. Finally. Holy crap! Uh, the den of the Drake. I want you to check your DMs real quick. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, while he's doing that, can I take a seat and uh, <laughs> wait for those muffins? The yummy, yummy of muffins. Yeah, yummy muffins. Well, it's all yummy. 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 My tummy. Don't no. don't eat the top batch. Don't eat the top batch. Just the the, the uh, my the, head the like one, immediately six... retreats. <laughs> <laughs> six on the top. They 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 um, they're not good. Uh, six at the bottom are good. I slowly reach for the the bottom ones. <laughs> Yeah. And I look back towards her to make sure there isn't any other <laughs> any yeah, yeah, advisory yeah. warning like, on try, these try ones. It, try it. Try it. Uh, yeah. The hand like slowly glides over. Am I taking it? <laughs> Do you need it? I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> I'll, I'll take just, a bite. Is this, it's, it's warm, right? Just let's see like fall yeah. flat on his face. <laughs> I take a bite. It's delicious. Like it's really good. Oh. He, he, he like has a complete change of face. Like, wow, this is like, like really good. Is it good? Mm, mm, mm. Oh, okay. Does that mean yes? Mm, mm, mm. He takes another bite. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm assuming that means yes. Are you feeling all right, Maceo? Uh, it's not too hot. You're not about. You're not losing consciousness mm, or mm, anything. Mm. <laughs> This would be like the first time we've seen him like actually look happy or smiling. Yeah. <laughs> it's safe. Like... Food. Food's good. Food wow. Good. No good. swelling of Must the really tongue. Must really be good. <laughs> he's, he's gonna just, he's just gonna like down this muffin. Yeah. Yeah. It's Rose would walk over and grab one after that like, dang, I gotta try this. Okay. It's pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. So I actually made a batch of good muffins. Or <laughs> half a batch. Apparently yeah. half of it's bad. Yeah, we don't know what happened. We don't talk about the other no, half. We don't talk about the other ones. So, Kalia, I'm cur- are you a musician of sorts? Do you play an instrument? No. The, the, sorry You said to... that like it was a question. I don't play an instrument. Um, yeah, no. Uh, sorry to ask, but what's the, the case, the case in the corner there? That is um just a little bit of uh, it's just work stuff work stuff yeah uh by the way we can we can we can talk about pretty much anything here um i warded the place myself so no one should be able to listen in on us Hmm. so we can talk about anything yeah pretty much anything at all well, I mean, there, there, there's stuff that, like, I, that, you know, I, I, I don't really want to talk about, but, but, yeah, but. Who's on the Taldori Council? Check her on. Uh... <laughs> you saw the Taldori Council. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> t- <laughs> <laughs> can I insight check her on that? Like, are we insight- actually not being listened yeah. to? Yeah, you can insight check her on that. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't believe. It. Also, you can make an Arcana check on the runes on her that are etched into some of actually, her walls. I'm gonna do that instead. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll go for that insight check then, actually. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have good oh, insight, God but... Oh, damn it. <laughs> Did you roll badly A again, natural Drake? natural one? Back on that old grind. The natural one. <laughs> Back on the grind. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's not in that one, but it's not better to 
Two plus five. Jesus. Seven. Two plus five. Okay, you okay, don't know. The runes are actually completely foreign to you. These seem to be um, magics that were not taught about in the academy. You're familiar with necromancy as a form of heretical magic, but this is something different. So you don't know. Yeah. But, I mean, she was proficient enough to carve them fairly precisely, and there is energy emanating from them. She did carve magical runes into the wall. Hmm. All right, well. Yeah. Hmm. Miss Sulfera, Kalia, um, since we are not being listened to and we can speak openly, you're acting really weird. I kind of always act really weird. <laughs> no, like, as in, like, you're going to burst into flames at any moment or some shit weird. Well, yeah, anyone can burst into flames at any moment. Have you seen what some mages can do? Kalia. What? We could literally die. Yeah. So, yeah. you gotta be clean with us. He if we're not being helped. listened to. Okay, okay. What? Um, well, this map um, maker of yours is still in the city, aren't they? Well, yeah, obviously I wouldn't have you looking for him in the city if he wasn't here. They're in the western docks. Probably, maybe, yes. I mean, th what I found with the, with the previous group lines up with that. I'm assuming you found something that lines up with that, too? So I would not. Okay. Well, that's 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 good. We we have all the information. It's, it's just, you know... Um, Why didn't you tell us the fog was connected with the disappearance? I didn't know for certain. They don't tell me anything. You know. They meaning the collective. Yeah, we... It's just... It's complicated, okay? It's It's complicated. So would stand up, and he kind of looks down at her. Do you know who this map maker is? Personally. No. No, I don't. I don't. Kind of eyes her for a second. I don't. She's really serious, very quickly. He accepts it. Testy. <laughs> So, Look, it... yes, we got your <clears throat> letter when you passed no. to uh, to Rose here. Yes, I was wanting to ask about that actually. Uh, do you have any more knowledge on that? What's going on? Um. Well, yes. Uh, there's been some changes in our organization recently. There have been some unforeseen problems. And some people have set in management some changes that um, obviously have been causing problems. Yeah. I would prefer if you spoke plainly. Make a charisma check. Let's see how she is terrified. Either that or no, not really terrified. Like She's not scared. She's not scared. Charisma. She's not scared mm. of you guys, but actually, you know, you guys can make it with advantage because you've been fairly nice to her. So okay. we all she's afraid of us check. telling no, no. someone that she told us. Yeah, yeah, she's afraid of something else, or at least nervous. Like she's disclosing <laughs> something that she doesn't talk about. Just uh, okay. one and nat twenty. Natural oh, what the heck? See, see if you can wow. see if you can see if you confirm it. See if you confirm it. Oh Dang. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll roll it. I'll roll it again. Nice. Uh, it's yeah. like thirteen plus one, so fourteen. Okay, well, you didn't confirm it. You have to roll two nat 20s in a row. <laughs> Damn, yeah. But you still have a nat 20, so look, that's good. Um, you, uh, she, she like, lays back. Okay, um, she's, she, she's, she looks less like she, she's about to spontaneously combust and more like she's just, she's just talking like a normal person. Okay, okay, um, sorry. It's just, it's been a long two months. It's been a lot. I understand your concern. I know that you're feeling pressure, but please. That's an understatement. If you want us to solve this, you're going to have to speak plainly with us. Our lives are going to be at stake just as much as your own. Yeah, yeah. Um, the map maker, I don't know him, and frankly, I don't care about him either. But I care about the last person that he talked to. And who was that? Crawford's gone. Crawford's He's gone. gone. Yeah, Lord, Lord Cyrillish, whatever. He, he, he's gone. He vanished two months ago. 
in the fog. No, I don't know. He, he, I, he went out to talk to Eben Grey Eye and then vanished. He was he completely gone. He kind of crosses his arms at this point. I think I'm starting to understand what happened here. This. What do you think happened? This Eben Grey Eye. Was he a friend of Crawford? I don't think so, but but Crawford had had a lot of. By the way, somebody make an insight check on her. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you got it. Uh, actually, let me check real quick. You probably have more than me. I, I only have like a plus zero. Oh, I have a plus one. I got a plus two. Hey, hey oh, maybe. Hey. Okay, okay, yeah, all right. Maybe. Two. Are you gonna get two whispers? I'm a I'm a <laughs> studier. And I'm going to use the Drake dice this time, because we know it's not oh, dice dependent. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a curse in general. Drake, 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 Uh, okay. 15. Okay. Okay. Hey, oh. let's go. You got a number bad. above 10? I don't believe it. She, she rolled very badly, so here. <laughs> I think that's the second time? Oh, it wasn't high. high. No, she didn't. Oh, Ooh, okay. He's gone. I need to find him. And, and, and... Look, the the people we were hiring were clearly not enough, so I, I stepped in. I was hoping to help you, but clearly you guys, you guys are pretty good on your own. The collective is sealing off the Western docks. How do we get in there? Well, the reason that that's happening is because some people are benefiting from Crawford being gone. Of course. But he might have disappeared there. Your map maker, at least, might be there. I'm hoping to solve two birds with one stone. We get Crawford, or three. We get Crawford back, we find this map maker, figure out whatever the hell he did to him, and then we get the clowns who have taken Crawford's place out of their position. They're afraid of him. Then we need to find a way to get to them, into those docks. Right. If you want to help your, your tailor friend, finding Crawford is the goal. I just... I, I just need to find him. We can help you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can, I can get people. I can, I have a little bit of pull left. When Crawford was around, I had a lot more, but, but um, he's not. So, so, uh, but I do think I know a few people who are keeping an eye there. At least the guards. I can move them aside. Um, and it should be that simple. You move them aside, we can get across. It should be that simple. I mean, if it's not, then you know something bad happened to me. Well, we wouldn't want that. Yeah, I'd prefer not. Well, that's, that's really nice of you guys. Thanks. How many men do they have? Doesn't matter, they should be all gone. They don't want to incur suspicion. There's only like five guards and an agent. I know him. He's decent company. I should be able to get him away from the area. Yes, if we could avoid violence, that would be preferred. You might not be able to avoid violence. Just saying. Um, violence tends to find us. Uh, find you? Maybe. <laughs> I think we have a good chance. I think we can avoid it pretty well. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll... Do you want me to come with you, or... Do you uh, want me to handle something else? Well, if they find out that you're trying to go above their heads, well, you're pretty much signing your own death warrant. Well, so, as much as I would love the extra help, it may not be a good idea for you to be seen with us. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's then a maybe point. you don't need to be seen. She looks over at the suitcase. That's a good point, too. Uh, do you have a bathroom I can use? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Down the hall to the left. <laughs> Alright, um, Rose... Uh-huh. I, I, I have to be perfectly honest with you, again, since we're being candid, and I know for a fact this place is warded, I have a bit of an issue. I'm scared of the dark. That's a very dark bathroom, so if you come watch outside the door with me, that would be great. <sighs> sure. I guess. All right, thank you. If you could excuse the two of us for a minute. Yeah, of course. Uh, anyway, Mr. did you like the muffins? They were delicious, thank you. Oh, sweet. She grabs one and then puts it down. Because you realize it's from the Bad Batch? Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Rose, again, I told a bit of a lie. I am a half-elf, I have dark vision, that'd be stupid if I were afraid of the dark. But... I guess so, yes. 
You see that thing nailed to the wall? Yes, I did. Look, she referred to Lord Cyrillish as Crawford. How many mm -hmm. people do you know who are on first name with a totalitarian lord like that? Not many. Not many. She She's does seem very thing. concerned. She's a very weird person. Give you that, yeah. I think we might want to uh, investigate a little bit before we get in a little bit too deep. Now, you want I want to see what's in that envelope that's nailed to the wall there. However, I can't exactly go up and just rip it down now, can I? Alright, so what would you like me to do? Well, you're good at putting on a show. Uh, you're good at talking to people. I'm not. Um, if we could maybe arrange a way for her to leave us alone in the room, or be so distracted with something going on that she ignores us completely. All Just right. enough to, you know, peek inside and put it back on the wall. Okay. But if she catches you, it's all on you. I was hoping this would be a kind of a team effort. I'll be the distraction. But if you fall, I'm not going down with you. Uh, you know, maybe we should get uh, uh, our friend over there in on this. <laughs> How? Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's the voice in your head, by the way. Yeah, that's the voice in my <laughs> that's head. That's the voice in your head. conscious, just like, oh, god damn it, man. Yeah, exactly. Gosh, Shit. Oh, gosh. Okay, uh... How about this? Just start with the distraction, and if things go bad, then we'll improvise. Sure, we'll improvise. That sounds good. Excellent. I'm just going to head back to the table and just grab a muffin. <laughs> which one? Oh, yeah, which one? <laughs> which uh, one? What? I was not in the room when she pointed out the top versus the bottom one. Do we roll 50-50? No, you, you did. You did. You were did in I? the room. You okay, so room. I'm definitely going for the good ones. Yeah, you went for the good one. It's very good. Muffin is good. No, I'm not going to eat it. Oh, I'm just going to have oh, it. Oh, you, you didn't eat it? Just going to look at it. Just smell it. I'm just going to kind of examine it in yeah, my weird... Yeah, examine. <laughs> yeah, just like... like it smells look. good. It's a very well sculpted muffin. Well, I didn't really sculpt it. They, they like you know, they, they, they puff up. In Good the, in top the to base ratio. Th th thank you. It's very delicious. Did you made these yourself? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's just a hobby. It's a hobby. That's very nice. Like, do you learn this yourself? Oh, um, uh, well, uh, um, yeah. I mean, I'd say that's very impressive. You've definitely come a long way. Other, do you like to bake other things? Well, I tried strawberry shortcake, but it wasn't do really we bad. So we don't try that have again. Time to discuss her baking technique. I'm gonna go ahead and oh, no. cast message to Maceo. <laughs> uh, um, actually, you know, what? I'm gonna go ahead and take the muffin, and okay. I'm gonna point it towards Maceo. Okay. And says. Oh, I hope you don't mind. I'd like to try something real quick, and I'm just going to cast what looks to be prestidigitation, but okay. what is actually going to be message towards our buddy Maceo. Ooh. You successfully cast message. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Any reaction from the runes at all? No. You gather that they're meant for outside influences okay. coming into mm. her place. Okay. Nice, nice. I'm going to shoot a message to Maceo. We're going for the envelope on the wall. Rose is making a distraction. Help. <laughs> am I, am I able to, to respond back? <laughs> you could respond to this message. You could respond to this message. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing what? I, I can't do it again. Well, I'm just what are like, you doing? Fuck. She's looking at, by the way, when he held out the muffin and did, like, the press digitation. What were you doing? Oh, I thought that was supposed to work. Oh, there's this baking tour I learned back in uh, Augustdale. But I thought it was going to... <clears throat> no, no, never mind. I think I owed oh. someone ten dollars. Make a, um, make a... Charisma check? See if you can play the situation. 
either charisma or performance. <sighs> See which, good. like, if you can per play this off. I don't, I don't know, like, if that's the right. Any of those. I think uh, honestly, oh, wait, 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 wait. I might hold on, have hold on. something. Who, to... Like, who's who's distracting her? Who's distracting her? If you roll Rose well for the distraction, then he can roll with advantage. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, okay. Rose is distracting oh, her at the moment. How are you distracting her? Uh. Like I said, she's just having- she's trying to get her, like, really into, like, baking conversation. Just like, hey, this is your hot- like, I want- like, you know, like, people get really passionate about something. Oh, she's yeah. trying to get, like, into that sort of vibe of, yeah, like, anyway, yeah, tell me all cake. about it. Went really bad, so, you know, I, I had to ditch that. But I also didn't have as good of an oven back then, because I didn't mm -hmm. have this place. So, you know, like, maybe I should try it again. Like, yeah. the, the muffins turned out great. You should totally. I mean, the muffins were so good. Make a make a charisma check yourself. Charisma check. Okay. Come on, Bard. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Come on, Bard. <laughs> all right. That is a 16. 16. Hell yeah. All right. You can make her the charisma <laughs> performance with advantage. Sick. Let's go. I will use 1d20 of each. Okay. <laughs> All right. Advantage. Boom. Uh, they're literally both 18. Nice. <laughs> go. <laughs> Let's go. Hell yeah. You play it off. And she's distracted. She is not looking at the letter. Um, I actually have an easy way to do this. Okay. So it's just nailed, right? It's just nailed. Doesn't weigh much. Yeah, she's not trying to, like, hide it. It's like it's displayed. So my telekinetic mage hand... Should be able to pull it down. Can pull it down. It is invisible. Yeah. I do not need somatic or verbal components. And it will just go over, undo the nail, grab the letter, and slide it over towards uh, who wanted it. Uh, me. And then you? just kind of slide itself over towards... Make a stealth uh, check with advantage. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Just kind of got my hand reached out underneath it for when it pulls the nail out. <laughs> By the way, keep in mind, the moment she turns around, she's seeing it. This oh, is yeah, 14. Yeah, she hears it. Oh, Rose is keeping It was her, like, 14 full... and natural one. Uh, oh, good thing my. I had that. <laughs> she, yeah. she does not hear you. She does not hear you, but keep in mind, the moment she turns around, she will see that it's missing. She does not hear yeah, you yeah. yet, though. Okay. You have Rose. the letter in your hand. That's you, Rose. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's, that's... She's keeping right. it going. She's keeping it is going. Is it already open or is it sealed? It's it's already open. Okay. It's already open. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick little pass, take it out, and read it as fast as I can. <laughs> it's a certificate of adoption. Oh my fucking god! Oh my gosh! Oh, we got baby <laughs> Cyrillish here. Uh, the that's that. Yep. Okay. That makes sense. The case, right? That makes sense. Why she's so concerned? Okay. This Juicy is daddy. info. The moment you read that, I slip it back, and it yeah, I pass like it the back letter just, like the moment you pass it, the hand just grabs it, and it just takes it over, and then it just nails it back on the <laughs> on the wall. Yeah. Let's oh, stand up. Well, it. well, we must be going. It's best not to daughter. I mean, loiter uh, here too long. She, <laughs> she like looks um. over. She like she turns around. And she sees the net. She rolled a nat 20 for one last person. No! Fuck! Oh, oh shut no! up, bitch. Oh, yeah, sliding in. <laughs> and she instantly, without even, like, a moment of hesitation, she instantly grabs her crossbow. Oh, fuck. Whoa, Wait. whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, okay. What are you doing? Why'd you, why'd you do that? She just looks sad. Oh. Oh, fuck. I, I don't know. My, my bad. Uh, Drake has to say it. Fuck. You're what do I have to say? You, you're you the one who read it! You got caught! caught. You got uh, caught! <laughs> well, I, my, my still I stand up. Well, we can't daughter, I mean, loiter here too long. <laughs> the door shuts. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Okay. So. Her hand is her hand is glowing with magic. Before you blow us thing. up. Why did you do that? You have not been very straightforward with us. It is a reason, okay? It's... I know, I know, I know, it's okay. No one we knows want... about that letter. No one. It's okay. What does it say? No one. No one what did the letter okay. say? I'm sorry, please. Okay. Look. Let's just say. She shoot she shot you. Oh, she shot, shot you! <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, one second. Does, oh, does no. an 18 hit? Uh, oh gosh. I'm gonna cast wait. 18. 18? Do you have shield? Yeah, that hits, even if I cast shield. Fuck. Really? Damn! Oof. Yeah. When you get shot, I got a protective field. <laughs> oh? 
it blocks six damage. Okay, you. She oh, blocks. So I, I literally hold my hand out, and it stops the bolts in midair. Ah! Oh. I still scream. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wasn't going to tell them. I'm sorry. I'm whoa, sorry. Okay. Hey, hey. My whoa, 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 whoa! It's hey, relax. Screw it's, you. Okay. Like sh shut, shut up. It's okay. okay. Like let's let's just take a second. Let's just breathe. If they ever found out. If they ever found okay. Out. We, I promise we will not say anything about this. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Make a charisma that's... check one last time. All right. Oh gosh. Come on. Uh. Five, six, Seventeen. That's pretty good. Oh yeah. She drops her guard. Okay. Like she's kind of like just like slowly like hand. But she's like, still breathing really heavy. Shit, she's still like nervous. Yeah. Look, I'm. I'm sorry that that. This that there's been ruffling through your personal life. I'm really sorry about that. But this is. It's happened, and I promise that it won't leave this room, okay? Okay. 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 She puts the crossbow down. Thank you. Okay. Let's take a second. And just, just relax. Regardless, we promised we'd help you find Crawford. Yes. And that's it's what we hard. intend to do. Okay. 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 I'm sorry about shooting you. I, I... I would be lying if I said I forgive you, but for the sake of professional... professionalism, I forgive you. Just reflex, you know? Just reflex. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Thank you. Anyway, sure. I believe we have a mission to get on. You need to find him. Yes. Uh, if he's I... somewhere by the western docks. I'll get moving. Wait an hour, and I'll have the guards come. Okay. She grabs her suitcase. Maybe it's best up. if you do come with us, then. I think it's best if we just don't talk for a while. Besides, I, I think I'd just get in your way. She climbs into the window with her suitcase and just leaps out. Oh. Wait, but... <sighs> well, that could have gone better. I mean, at least you're not shot. Yeah, um, Maceo, thank you for saving my life. I definitely appreciate that. Would you guys like to move on to? Well, you have to wait an hour. What do mm. you? There, there's an hour of waiting. So what did it say, mm. Professor? Well, I'll just say show you. Since me. she's not here, I'm gonna go over the wall and just take it off. No. <laughs> Certificate of adoption. Kalia Silfero. Well, that's actually not the last name. It just says Kalia. Um, Kalia Crawford. Crawford. Yep. Mm. Well, that explains a lot. Got ourselves a real daddy's girl here. Well, I guess uh, Celia Cyrillish, right? It's Crawford Cyrillish. For some reason, they don't share a last name. Probably for her protection. But maybe it's the other way around. Maybe, maybe she's his mother. I. <laughs> I, I don't think that's it, Chief. I, <laughs> I don't no. think that's it, Chief. <laughs> I don't think that's not it, Chief. I'm sorry. But it, 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 she's using her maiden name. <laughs> that's not I how it... don't think that's how that works. I don't think that's how it works. I don't know. 16 never... intelligence. <laughs> I've never been married or have a, had a girlfriend. I don't know how this works. So. Um, yeah. All right. We know she's got a personal stake in this and in us. Mm-hmm. So that's somewhat comforting. Yeah, definitely. Do you believe I... her when she says that she's not going to help us find him? No. To be I perfectly either. honest. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to see her again. Oh, of course. I just want to make sure that she doesn't do anything brash. Right. So, what's next? We've got an uh, hour. We've got to wait for, for her to take being... care of those guards. We wait here, yeah. Well, are we just... Do we have nothing to do for an hour? Any sort of thing for a prep? You want to do? I want to mail a letter, but that could wait. You guys can do whatever you please in her loft, which is now empty. <laughs> mm. 
What was that case? Did she bring it with her? She took it. Uh, Fuck. uh, (laughs) Maybe we should have been going for the case instead of the letter. Here's hoping she doesn't do anything too crazy. Well, so what's our plan? Are we just going in there and sneaking around? Are we trying to find friends to take us in? Are we... I don't know. Well, I think... I'm not quite sure. I guess, at least at the moment, best bet is that she's going to make sure those guards are not around. We can sneak in pretty easily. Um, The problem's going to be after. We don't really know what's beyond those docks. Right. We need to figure out where they go from there. The the fog fog is taking people. You know, there's something in there. We know someone who works uh, as an arcanist who might be able to help us. Hmm. Who might that be? She is super asleep. (laughs) Well, Well, we could super wake her up. (laughs) <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Nilian Balkan's wife Right, right She worked under the Was it the Ar- Arcane Infinium The Infinite Arcane Infinite Arcane <laughs> Infinium, I swapped it It's I was just shot at I am dealing with a lot of stress right now. <laughs> so maybe we talk to her. Maybe she can play some wards on us of some kind. That's not a bad idea. I mean, that's definitely something to look into. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe provide potions? Just magical hmm. doohickeys? Magic- I don't know. That might be stretching her luck, but maybe. You can't push her luck too much. Well, you are doing it to save her husband and child. Perhaps we should ask, then. Yes. I mean, she does have a very personal stake in our success. I don't think she's so, going to be very gonna comfortable wake up? waking up this late, but... Oh, it is well, I doubt I'll be very comfortable being shot with a crossbow bolt, but here I am. Hey, it was your idea. Your fault. Yes, that'll show me for showing bravery. <laughs> sure, if that's we what you call, call it. That. Are you guys are you guys going to uh Balkan's house again? Yeah. I uh, guess it. we're heading back there, yep. Wife opens the door after you wake her up. She's got she's got like the whole like fucking skincare routine uh, going on right now. Yeah, like as a like, like, <laughs> <she's like, laughs> mask, mask on. <laughs> oh, look. It's four in the well, fucking actually, morning. You know what? Lucky for you, she is an elf. She does not sleep. Oh shit. Oh, oh. right, fuck. Oh, so we're fine. What? Yeah, what? So, we need your help. Oh, um, I'm happy to do what you can. What I can. You you do what you can. I do what I can. Uh, sorry. Do you mind if we come Words in? Are hard. Yeah, of course. So we should Perception be too check long. from the last person who goes inside. Uh, uh, I'll say that's Rose. That would probably be Rose. Yeah, because you two are up front. You know them better. Uh, yeah. Perception. That is a... This is my best Sorry. friend in all of Carrier Konos. <laughs> uh, that's a 12 perception. You don't notice anything amiss. Uh, crap, okay. You guys walk inside. Um, so, what do you guys need? Do you need, um, like, information? I, I mean, I don't know how I can help you. I, Balkan told me about the... We might need a spell. Map. A spell? I mean, I'm, I'm a pretty good mage. I, I doubt I could do anything more than what you can do, but he, she gestures at Falris. Well, Look, you have a different expertise than I. I'm not a court arcanist. I, I, I'm a researcher, but I, I can cast a few things. What, what do you need? Uh, Maceo? We're crossing through into the western docks, and we have the suspicion there might be some foul magic afoot. If you have anything that could ward off spirits. Maybe a protection uh, for good and evil or something like that. I don't know. Whatever oh, that spell is ca- called. Oh, I can that. cast that. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say. Boy. Um, if you need protection from good and evil, I think I can do that for you. Sweet. Amazing. But it lasts only ten minutes. You will have Fuck. maybe a... You will have, like, barely any... She might be able to follow you. There. Would you be willing to <laughs> stay inside this jar? <laughs> I'm going to pull the jar from my hip. What? 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 All what? right, so uh, you wouldn't understand. You're not a paleontologist. Anyway, 
<laughs> is that a hideaway jar? Oh, yes, it is. Why do you have that? You wouldn't understand. You're not a paleontologist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going inside that thing. No way. Uh -uh. We need help. Do you need some po- Look, I got some potions. Do you need that? That would also be appreciated. She has two lesser <laughs> healing potions. All right. Um, uh, okay. I mean, I got you healing spells. Do you have any spells, spell storing capabilities? I'm frontline. I should probably take one, huh? <sighs> That's you would have to ask. A lot of agents have those. You would have to ask one of them. But luckily oh. for you, I have one last one last whalebone charm that can store one spell, and I can put evil and good in there. But I can't put anything else. Okay. That would be incredible. You have. She takes out like a. It looks like a bunch of small bones melded together by a, like a metal clamp, and she casts a spell into it, and the runes light up. This Ooh. will last an hour. Don't waste it. Right. Good Thank luck you. out there. Of course, don't put people in that jar. It's weird. It comes with the profession. You wouldn't understand. You're not a paleontologist. Oh You've gosh. had to hide in that thing, haven't you? Many <laughs> times, but we're not going to talk about that. Now, are we, Neil? No, that's a good point. Yeah. Good luck out there, guys. Thank you. We appreciate your support. Yeah, thank you so much. You um, you guys head down to the docks. A few hours walk. Um, not a few hours. It's like a 30 minute walk. Gotcha. Um, so we pretty much arrive guys... almost like right on time. Yeah, you are. You yeah. arrive almost right on time. You, you Oh, potions. See... Uh, who had the potions? Yeah. Who's got the potions? That's a good point. Uh, we're going to give those to you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll take it. Yeah. The most survivable of our lives. <laughs> I, I will take both of them then. All right. Awesome. So you guys head towards the. You guys head towards the docks. Mm -hmm. As you guys transition into Old Town. The environment very much shifts. Um, obviously, uh, obviously, uh, Rose, you've been to Old Town. You were just on the border of it. But yeah, you can hear like the water dripping from the broken old mills, and it, there, you're like ankle deep in water for a lot of this um, walking portion. It is a. Uh, there are, as you can see, no guards. Man, this place has really gone downhill hard. I know, what a dump. <laughs> okay. As you guys are walking through what was once the guard post, you see an agent with his weapon out, and it looks like he has a bunch of claw marks in his back. He is face down in the water. He is very dead. Oh heck! I'm gonna turn around, and start walking in the opposite direction immediately. Can I grab his cu his shirt cuff? <laughs> <laughs> Just yank him back. Yeah. <laughs> the second like, you touch me, I scream. <laughs> no. Gosh, sh 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 shut up! His scream echoes throughout the entire town. Fuck. Gosh, turn it off. Jeez. No. Wait, does someone like cup their hand over my you mouth or something? <laughs> Yes. By the I'll way, you <laughs> gather that Kalia did not. There are no dead guards, just a dead agent. You just gather that she wasn't able to get rid of this guy. Oh. Or maybe she said she was friendly with him. Maybe he was trying to work with her. You don't know, but. Maseo walks over the towards way, the body very carefully, and he has yeah. his hand on his uh, on the hilt of his blade, and he's gonna walk over, and he's gonna kneel down, looking at the claw marks. How big the are they? Claw marks. They are about. What human claws would do if humans had claws? Ooh. That doesn't make any sense. It looks like they were, and also there's a large like bite mark on his neck, like someone. T it was like he was like torn apart. It's nasty. Can I turn him over? The part where the chunks missing from his uh, neck. What's the bite mark? Or goblin. Like? Um, it looks like a human mouth took a bite out of his neck. So it's not like sharp canines or anything. It's just like no. human bite. No, like like yeah. lycanthropy or anything like that. Lycanthropy. Um, lycanthropy. <laughs> lycanthropy. <laughs> lycanthropy. Lycanthropy. <laughs> no, but you know, kinda... this poor this poor goblin. His eyes are still wide open from the shock. Oh. So I'm gonna now that I've like kind of collected myself. Who almost lost my cool there. <laughs> okay. yeah, you I, I'm still kneeling down over the yeah. body. I just gotta turn looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make myself oh. over uh, over to the body, yeah. and I'm going to kneel next to uh, uh, Mosea, and I'm going to look at the wounds. Now, with my knowledge of uh, 
both nature and the undead. Is there any way I could make a check to see what kind of creature this is? You don't need to. These are zombies. <laughs> so, oh, heck. so what did uh, this? You just know. I'm like, and also, he's holding something in his hand. Like by the, you're inspecting him, he's not like it was. It was like on his person. It's in his hand. I'll go ahead and grab it. You grab it. Do I? It's a little smooth stone with a rune on it. This is a common magic item. It's a sending stone. Oh. Mm. Well, that's where's, useful. I'm where's s- the other one? You don't know. It's you assume he's one line of communication. I'm going to go ahead and take the sending stone and like hold, hold it up to my mouth it's, and be like, it's a two-way thing, right? It's what a two-way thing. I have, not, I have not activated it. I'm just like... You're not, you're not activating it? No, I'm not okay. yet. Should I? And I like look to the other two. I think it's, uh, I don't think we should risk it for now. You hear, you feel a vibrating come from it? Like someone's trying to contact? Oh fuck, someone's trying to text. Oh crap. Uh, uh, You can just hear the voice. You don't need to talk back. Okay. Okay. I go ahead and I guess accept it. You hear Kalia's voice on the other side. Hey Cookie, did you give him the stone? Hi Kalia. Oh, hey, he gave you the stone. Yep, sure did. I kind of look he, back towards yeah. him, like, you gonna tell her? <laughs> what are, yeah. Yeah. He's just, like, I'm looking down at his, like, torn up face, like, like eye, like, dripping out of the yeah. socket. Yeah, yeah it's like, bad. Like, yep, sure did. Well. So. How you doing? There's something wrong, isn't there? Okay, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Who killed him? It's a zombie. That's really bad. Really? You, you, uh, yeah, I see you guys. It's it's like email. You, it's like it's not like a phone call. It's one way to the other. Oh, it's right. one way, so she can't hear us. No, she can't hear you. It's it's back and forth, but it's not like an act. It's not like this. It's like a text. Okay, like one yeah. stop. Oh yeah, where are you? In a very tall tower. Where is she? Uh, I'm going to pass you to, uh, M- M- Moseo here. I'd take it. Kali, I thought you said you weren't going to come. I didn't. I'm in a tower, long ways away. But you're still here. No. I'm in a tower. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> I just wanted to, like, check that you guys got there. I won't be able to help you much farther past this point, but I can offer tactical... That's the job. Well, it's gonna have to do. I'm sorry about your friend. Yeah, that's a pity, but that's part, that's part, you know, part, part of the work. We're going to be going in then. Okay, good luck. Send me updates. I hand it back over towards our wizard friend. Thank you. So what did she say? My little pouch. She says she's hiding up in a tower. She can see us. Can I look around and see what tower she could possibly be in? It's there are be many towers. Up, right? You can. There's are. There are many towers. You can roll a perception check, though. Mm, okay. I'm not great at perception. Okay. Yeah, that's a two. You can uh, see nothing but towers and buildings. There's, and towers there's a and lot lights. of towers. There's a lot of towers and there's a lot of lights. Unfortunately. Would you guys like to continue into Old Town? Um, Maceo? Yes? Do you think you'd want to take the lead on this one? I thought your bravery would allow you to take the point, but... (laughs) My lion's (laughs) taking a break right now. (laughs) Allow me, then. Thank you. Take a step forward in front of him. I'll back you up. I'll take up the rear. I'm unfamiliar with battle against the living dead. And you seem to be a specialist, so... Any well, advice? In all the books I've read, um, do I have any advice? Any useful advice I can give right now? I would say that you have whatever useful advice Den of the Drake would have. This is your specialty. Okay. So if you have useful advice, you are free to give it. Well, if I you know don't have it's... any, roll Narcana. Yeah. Well, 
none of us are particularly holy types. So, that rules out anything like that. However, fighting zombies is pretty similar to fighting people. Just hit them till they die. And don't let them sneak up on you. And is there anything else? Because I'm not familiar with zombies. In <laughs> that's, uh, that's a pretty good advice. But sometimes they don't die when you hit them till they die. Okay. Well, and also, right. be sure to double tap. Double <laughs> tap. By that you, you know, mean... Listen, you really want to make sure it dies for real. So, like, when you hit it until it, you know, falls over, you hit it again. Right. Now, is this the infectious kind of zombie? Should we, oh, like, looking no, down no, no, at, no. Hit, like, That's the not goblin? A thing. Not a thing? Yes. Okay. Oh, no, I'm no, not no. sure. You see, what you're looking, uh, thinking of was an old myth passed around by peasants back in, you know, Augustdale during the 1200s or so. Back when they thought the zombification virus or whatever was contagious. Now, what they did not know is that the weave actually allows the corpses to become reanimated and become connected to the plane of the, li- of the living, but without a soul. So Masao, essentially, you trip over a corpse. Oh, shit! <laughs> um, oh, fuck. I, I, <laughs> what? Wait. You look down, there's a dead dwarf at your feet. I oh. stop for a second just as I look over towards the dwarf. I kneel down. Same wounds? Much larger scars. Oh, that can't be good. Turn it over. Does he have anything on him? Weapons? Maybe something else he brought with him? Like a little belt no, or something? No, it just looks like he was hanging out here. Maybe he was trying to meet for some gold or something, but he's very much dead. By the way, at this point you have found yourselves walking in a market square where the fairy ghost lights are still lighting up here. Like, it seems that the that the governance here has tried to ensure that there's at least a little bit of, you know, light here for people to live by, but yeah. not many people live here. Um, he is, looks very much deceased, though. He looks like uh, he got jumped in the middle of the night. Yep. Well, and the wounds are pretty bad, right? Like The it's, wounds it's... are awful. Like, the zombie... Sc- it makes <sighs> the zombie claw marks look like paper cuts. This guy was, like, almost torn in two. And... How and he's a dwarf. He's a stout guy, and also like this dude doesn't look like a, he doesn't look like a warrior. He's not armored, but he does not look like a pushover. Like he's a pretty tough, stout little guy. Hmm. Uh, 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 could 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 I take a look at his wounds real quick, <clears throat> Moseo? Bye. Be my guest. Uh, please watch my back. I don't want to get attacked. Yeah, Rose is uh, keeping a hard lookout, like a, as they're che- as the two of them have been checking out the corpse. Yeah, my hand has not left like grip of my hilt throughout the entire time I've been walking by. Okay, so would you like to make an investigation check on the body, Mister sure. Palrasaren? Uh, what? That would be just investigation. Yes. Okay. So what cost it, Professor? Oh, that's good. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh. That's a seven. Oh, no. oh. It's really hard to study him. Yeah, he jumps up and attacks you. <laughs> oh, 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 no. oh, he shit. leaps up, grabs you, pulls you down, needs you all to roll initiative. Oh, oh, I'm, oh I'm screaming, snap. I'm screaming, I'm okay. screaming. Like, I'm screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I can't actually start screaming because my neighbors would come and knock on my door, but I'd say, <laughs> imagine I'm screaming. <laughs> uh, I, I got 11. I got 11 on my roll. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, Don't yeah, be yeah. so excited. Don't be so excited. He is going, as he pulls, as he pulls, as the zombie dwarf pulls you down, he's going to do a, a good old bite. Oh, good. Cool. <laughs> oh, fun. Um, does a 13 hit? Um, I'm going to go ahead and cast shield. You cast shield, and, <laughs> and luckily managed to break uh, the zombies. Not only does do you not, I'm gonna say that the shield also breaks the zombies' grip. So um, as he reaches up, you reach out your hand, and energy emits from your hand, and a shield forms around you and pushes him off. Um, oh, he falls to the ground, but he gets cool. back up. Um, <laughs> 
So I'm gonna say he, you are no longer like grappled and he had, did not attack you. Um, but you guys do hear shuffling footsteps from all around you in these abandoned houses and tents. I was supposed to be in the middle. <laughs> you're the one who went out to the front. Roselia, you're up. Oh, God gosh, damn it. Okay. <laughs> it's um, all your fault. <laughs> so, sorry, just a quick question real quick because it's being a little- I'm assuming quick questions are real quick. Quick questions are quick, yeah. Um, what was it? Hellish Rebuke is being put as a second level spell that can be, like, cast as first level- I'm not- basically, I'm not sure where Hellish, Re Hellish Rebuke should be placed. I'm assuming you, uh, it's- Is Hellish Rebuke a second level spell? It's- I think so, because that's where it is, but it's It's blue. your racial, right? It's an- inf yeah, it's, yeah, it's from my Infernal Legacy, yes. Sorry, I don't know, it's whatever, okay. Um- um, Five, please yeah, don't she'll, hit me. Four, I'm trying. Okay, three, she'll use shatter two, and cast it right behind in a on the point. Must be, in a way that does not hit him. I'm yes, assuming. in a way. Yes, like behind. Like yeah, to the side of it, basically. Oh, a shatter gosh. a Constitution saving throw. Constitution saving throw. Yes. 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 Uh, oh shit! Holy! F oh my god! You rolled a 17. Gosh darn it! Okay. Uh. uh Takes uh, 3D, uh, half as much. Okay, so it would be 3D8 damage divided by half, so crap, uh, roll 3D8. You cast the spell, it explodes behind the zombie, almost like pushing it into Falris, but it, it does not do that. The mm -hmm. zombie, most of its bones break down, um, but it is barely still alive. You think that if it wasn't so hardy, it would have wiped it out in one hit. These are minions, they only have one hit point if they fail to save. Oh, okay. Also, at this point in the initiative, I will say it's been a few seconds, you guys definitely notice that his friends are starting to shuffle out of the alleyways. We're being oh. surrounded. You're a No, you're not being surrounded. You are surrounded. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. shit. Oh, yeah, wow, that's... Oh, no. Okay, this guy's gonna run up to Falrus, and because <laughs> now there are two zombies, they're gonna make a group attack on you that does a little bit wait no actually hold on i just remembered that they share i think this the, it works that they share initiative right okay so since this guy already went this guy can't use the group attack so okay. he's attacking you on his own oh good that's good he rolls that's cocked you have to trust me on that <laughs> that is um a 10 to hit that does not hit Hey. He reaches out for you and you you hey. pull back, you dodge out of the way. Maybe some of that. Oh wait, you also have you you still have shield up, by the way. Oh, so it, it like lasts, super does. The whole turn. Yes, it does. Oh shit! Oh, and like yeah. that spell is godly. Yeah, it. You are so protected. Like you are so good, <laughs> Maceo. Take a bite up. of my ass, undead bitch. <laughs> 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 all right. So I've had my hand gripped on my sh the sword the whole time. Yeah, all so, right. So uh, as my interaction, I'm going to draw it. And at that point, Sweet. I see the one to the right of me. And yep. I'm going to move one, two, three, 15 feet yeah. over towards the Zombo. Getting the hang of this shit. Ooh. He is going to take the blade out, rushes over towards the creature, and he is going to... I'm going to at first gesture towards the zombie... I'm pushing him 10 feet up here. Okay, so in does it do any damage? Uh, it does not. It does not. Okay, it does not. Um, what is there a save? Strength save, DC 13. That's a fail. He's pushed. And as my action, I'm just going to attack him. So I'm going to make a roll. All right, roll an attack. I'm two-handing the sword. I uh, assumed. That is a 16 and it is hits. a max roll, 13 damage. 13 damage. I mean, again, these are minions. You hit, you chop its head off. He is, hold on. You need to make a constitution saving throw. He may Ooh. not be as dead as you think. Uh-oh. Do the double tap, Maceo. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, I mean, you have your offhand, uh, no, wait, you attack specifically with two hands. No, you can't do. Um, he is very dead, though. You, awesome. you chop off his head, and you don't think he's coming back up. You reduce him so far below zero. All right. That's good to me. So as soon as yeah. I le uh, lop the head off this one, I'm going to move to pursue, because uh, I'm trying to get out of the range of the other two from the back, 
So this this one in front of me is dead, right? So I'm gonna go yep. another dead 15 right up here. Yeah. All right, sweet. This guy he doesn't have a group to to attack group attack with, so he's just going to do his normal attack. That's a nine to hit. That is a mess. Dude, he he grabs on you, but you're with your armor. You just push him off, no problem. Yeah, I just shrug him back and just like hit him with the butt end of like the hilt to push him back. You backwards. gather that numbers are the optimal thing with these guys. Falaris, there are two zombies on your ass, and they are going to group attack you the f first fucking chance they get. Oh, leave me alone! <laughs> oh shit! Okay, well, so I'm going to use my bonus action to hyperventilate. Um, <laughs> bonus action use. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and if I cast Burning Hands from where I'm at, that's a 15-foot cone that should be able to get both of them, right? I'm gonna say, just, yes, it, it looks like they're both in the lines. I think you should hit them. Okay. So, I'm going to, uh, take a break from hyperventilating. I'm gonna cast Burning Hands, and they both need to make dexterity saving throws. Ooh. Natural one. Two. You know, that's the full 3d6 on both of them. Let's go. Hell yeah, let's, let's go. go. And you know, I mean, you might as well roll the damage. Let's do it. Anyway. Okay, so yeah. five, eight, plus six. I'm an idiot, whatever that is. <laughs> Doesn't matter. There we go. <laughs> wiped out. The fire emits from your hands, and both of them are instantly wiped from existence. Um, how much damage did you say? Uh, that was 14, right? So five plus I just three realized is eight. It, yeah. That is such overkill that, again, these guys are not coming back. They are reduced to ash. Fuck yeah. All right, I'm gonna use my bonus action run over here. Just like... Ah! Wait, <laughs> you can move yourself. I'm not gonna move you, because it no, causes I'll, I'll weird move. stuff to happen. Uh, Last right week. next to uh, Bard here. <laughs> and just be like... I was supposed to be in the middle. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> Oh crap, Man, oh no, you turn. just... Oh no. Well, these t well, now you're closer to the two zombies who are going to group attack. Oh, gosh darn it. Uh... They just watched the, the the mage wipe out two of their brethren. They prioritize you as the greatest threat. Oh, sick. Uh... <laughs> I'll do it again, leave me alone. Oh, They're God. coming at you. Oh, I should have run. Oh, I didn't zoom uh... out. Damn it, I didn't see those two. Yeah... That's well, they're making a group attack now. Also, that is a uh, that's a 17 to hit. Oh, oh. Your shield, you're like confident. Your shield's up, and then it disappears. And you're like, oh fuck. And they both oh, run shit. at you. They they deal. Okay, look, they deal three points of damage. The three points too they, many for Falrus. <laughs> they're they're like clawing at you. It looks like they're supposed to overwhelm with numbers. But you guys aren't some peasants off the street. You guys, well, um, most of you guys know what you're doing. <laughs> this zombie is going to, you know, he doesn't have anyone to group attack with, but he's going to run over there and he's just going to attack um, uh, Roselia mm -hmm. with a single attack. Oh, damn. Holding up my lantern to that. Uh, that's a 15 to hit. Ah, uh, well, he hits. To hit. uh, yep, well, you uh, take, because there's no buddies with him, you take one point of damage. All right. He grabs you and like claws at your um, arm. You, take, you have minor scratches. Yeah, can I use a uh, re reaction, the hellish rebuke reaction? Hell yeah! Yeah. Is there a saving nice. throw? Uh, the creature must make a dexterity saving throw. It takes two d ten fire damage on a failed save or half as much. Unfortunately, I believe he succeeds. That that is a um, wait. He is minus a twelve. Oh, let's go! Yeah, my uh, yeah. I rolled a fourteen minus two. Uh, four, so that's six damage. Uh, really? he is dead, but yes. uh, uh -oh. his body is still there. Uh, he um, is also on fire. Hey, right, okay. Roselia, you are up. Oh, I totally forgot that that wasn't my turn. Right, that was a reaction. Yeah, no, it's not your turn. That <laughs> right. was a reaction. You yeah. still have your turn. Dope, okay. Oh, gosh darn it. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, so there's those two. All right, so the one in front of Faris, and yeah, she'll just take out her her dagger and try and stab the one in front of him. Make an attack. All right. Help! Uh, Help! Oh, gosh. Help <laughs> me! Thirteen. Help me! Thirteen hits. Hey, okay. Oh, that's why you're gonna roll damage in here. Three piercing damage. 
I mean, th doesn't matter. There are minions yeah. there. One hit point when you hit him. You, yeah. you slash him, and you 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 notice that the tendon on his neck is way weaker than you thought, and you cut his his head clean off. Let's go. Does it like spray any viscera in our direction? <laughs> it sprays plenty of viscera in your direction <laughs> as you as you do a good old fashioned dagger stab. Maceo, you are up. All right. So, uh, my turn. I'm gonna readjust the uh, uh, fang, and I'm gonna go in, and I'm going to attack the zombie in front of me. Yep. All right. Roll an attack. All right. So attack roll. 15. 15 to hit. That hits. All right. Roll damage. Uh, seven. Seven points of damage. You um, strike out with your sword, and you sh stab right into the gut, just a light stab, and you manage to, like, sever most of its guts from inside of it, spills out, and the zombie falls to the ground. You have a feeling that it may be getting back up soon. That was not a ton of overkill. All right, all right. So, um, for my movement... I am going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, up to here. So I rush over and I'm <laughs> heading over towards this one. Um, there is a bit of a. I want to try to see if I can do something. So this little stand right here, it's yes. that's behind it, right? That's behind it. Yes. If I shove him into it, is there a chance to knock him over? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, is there a save? Oh, uh, yeah. So, bonus action again. I'm going to then propel a telekinetic force, and I'm going to push make him. A strength, make a strength, an intelligence check to see how, like, mighty this particular push is. This is special circumstances. Okay, okay. Uh, you said Coming up with new check. stuff on the fly. Oof, not uh, good. Uh, four. He rolled pretty good. He rolled a 12 on Oof. the save, though. Wait, strength? He's pretty strong. Yeah, 12 uh, is a success. Yeah, 12 is a success. Yeah, you don't push him in. Uh, yup, one of your zombie buddies, uh, it appears that from the alleyway you see another zombie get up, and he is going damn. to run over here, and now he's got buddy to group attack with. Damn, damn, damn. What? That's a 17 to hit? Uh, 17 is a hit. That is three points of damage as both of them simultaneously grab you, and also, they are a little bit late to the party. You hear something, something, like, quick. Ooh. Run through and oh. slash at Roselia. Oh, frick. Oh, it misses. <laughs> That's an 11. Does that hit? Uh, are we under the rules of, like, if it, it meets, it beats? It beat. It meets, it beats. Oh, my AC is 11. Oh, shit. Oh, you're... oh, no. Wait, do you only have 11 AC? What are you doing? Yeah. I have <laughs> a higher <laughs> AC than you? Apparently. Oh no! That is four points of damage. You feel something slash across uh. your your stomach, and you see a creature like um, stop running. It's like skids to a stop. It uses its claws to slow itself. You see this gnarly looking undead monster with like small strings of hair, big black eyes, long yeah. jagged teeth, and massive claws. Oh gosh, that's that is. horrifying. Making an arcana check, and you and uh, you see another one moving out of the uh, building. That's not good. They seem to not be the minion type creatures that you've been encountering. Falaris, you're up. You see two creatures um, emerge from the darkness. Okay, uh, so two, uh, I didn't make my arcana check. Uh, I was asking if I get advantage on that since I am a. You do master. have get advantage on this, yes. That's cute. Twenty-one. These are gas. It's more than single. Gas. But like, <laughs> but like homebrew gas that crispy creates, so you can't rely on your meta knowledge. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. But yes, these are gas. Undead Boy. creatures that serve the will of the risen demon god Orcus. Gas. We got two gas. I don't know what that means. They're very really fast, and you should hit them until they die. But it's really hard to do that because they're really fast. I'm going to cast. Scorching Ray. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna focus fire one gas because I feel like these guys are gonna be a problem. All right. So I'm gonna focus fire the gas that is over here, the one that's kind of below us. Okay. Yeah. That's the one first in initiative. That's a good idea. Yeah. So all three Scorching Ray shots are going directly at that. Roll one. three attacks. Okay. Okay. So first attack. 
Uh, that's going to be a 12. A, a 12, I believe. Hold on, let me pull up them notes. A 12 barely misses. It twitches out of the way. Shit, all right, next one. Uh, there's going to be 17. 17 hits. All right, that's going to be 2d6. I'll roll the damage all at once. Yeah, roll damage all at once. All right, uh, and then that's a 14. 14 hits. Okay. Two hits. It dodges out the first one, but you managed to take advantage of that to position them correctly. So 11 plus 2, that's 13. Roll one more. Uh, Let's go. Plus 3. What did I say? What was the last one that I said? <laughs> 2, 2, 11, 2, 11, and then the last one. Okay. Uh, 2 plus 11, that's 13 plus 3, 16. 16 fire 16. Nice. You fire out the scorching rays. First one misses. The second and the third hit right in its chest. Um, it burns away part of its flesh, and it seems to just, like, twitch, and, like, it looks like it's really mad at you now, and it doesn't seem like it's slowing down. I'm gonna, like, point over to Rose to my, uh, to my left. That was her. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> um... <laughs> Zombie is up. Oh, wait, nope. He was participating in that group attack. He is not up. I lied. Uh, this ghast is up next. Runs. Th- it's going to run through both of you. And they have oh. the slippery trait. They are so quick that they do not incur attacks of opportunity. Ah. It's going to make a claw attack. Against both of us? Against one of you. Oh. And it is going to be the person. It's going to be. I'll say it is. I'll roll a coin. <laughs> Rose, unfortunately. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, All right. Uh, it is a it, that does hit, uh, unless your armor class is above seventeen. Nope. <laughs> All right. I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. Oh boy. Uh-oh. Okay. 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 Oh, screw. Okay. It's, uh, nine. Nine. That does. That does not succeed. Uh. Its claws pass through you. It runs right uh, through both. Um, uh, right through the gap between uh, Falris and Rosalilia and runs through and stops right here. It skids on the ground. You can see its claws are dripping with some sort of liquid and it's not just blood. You look down and you feel like yourself start to freeze. Oh, you can't move. Snap. You are paralyzed. Oh, frick. Okay. I think we That's have an worse. issue here. That's you are paralyzed for one minute. No! Oh, yes! that's a problem. Oh, gosh. All right, it's the end of your turn. It, luckily, your turn is right now. Your turn is this very moment. Roll another constitution saving throw. Oh, gosh, okay. Uh, uh. We're buying you armor when we get back to town. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, uh, 16. You succeed. You are unparalyzed. Oh, thank God. Okay. At the end of your turn. Your, your turn is skipped, unfortunately. Gosh, shut it. Okay. And good for you because this zombie is rising again from the dead. Oh gosh, God damn it. Darn it. Uh, he does not have a buddy to group attack with. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm putting so many things on you. All right. <laughs> just hit with like 30 debuffs. <laughs> yeah, right. Just so good. That is a four. Plus three, seven. Uh, Rosalia, does a seven hit? Oh, sorry. No, a seven does not hit. Sorry. Yes, you come out of the paralysis, you see the zombie rise up from the grave, and you go on guard. Do you have your sword drawn at this point, or...? Uh, sh- yeah, she'd probably still have her dagger out from the first one. Okay, you, you use your dagger to push him away, he does not attack you. This ghast is up next. Okay. It climbs on top of the roof, and jumps down at Maceo. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, alright, lay it on me. That's a ten, ten? plus five. It's still a miss. Yes, oh, yeah. it jumps down. Yay. It's like, okay, dude, this, this shit's badass. It jumps down, claws extended. You um, put up your sword and manage to parry Yeah, I kind of like and- half sword it to where I grab the tip of the katana and use it kind of just like fence it back. It bounces off of your blade and lands. It skids again over here. It roars at you and it looks absolutely pissed. Oh, jeez. Hey, uh, those um, buildings... Those yes. are buildings in there. there. Those are buildings, and they are too sturdy for you to knock over with your telekinesis. That's right? not what I was thinking. I was thinking something better. What are you thinking? Okay, uh, what's your thinking? I'm thinking we need to run in there. That would funnel them in, so that we okay. don't have to deal with these fuckers jumping around. That's a good point. So here's uh, here's my idea. I'm going to disengage. I'm a bonus action, shove the one up here, 
and then I'm gonna run up to meet the uh, gas because if I don't leave the range of his attacks, so I shove the one in front of me. Yeah, shove the one in front of me. And as an action, move to where you want to move. I'm going to disengage. Yeah, disengage. All right. So then my action to disengage. I run up here, and yes. uh, so this should hopefully give them a little bit of bearing to be able to retreat. And I am yeah, okay. going to, as. I'm going to second wind. When well, I second wind, the, okay. what's it called? The action surge. Action surge. Okay. Okay. Does that take your bonus action? It does not. You just action okay. surge. Okay. Great. Awesome. And uh, I am going to action surge, so that uh -huh. I can use telekinetic movement. Ooh. What does that do? So. What does that do? I target a loose object. That is large okay. or smaller or one uh, willing creature. Um, and I have an idea. There's like these tent poles and stuff, right? Yes. Like right in front of me? Yeah. Can I telekinetically take the tent and throw the, the whole tarp over him? Um, like to yes, blind him? Ooh. Yes, you can, and I will say that that is creative enough that it works. I just love that yeah. work. That's awesome. Right. You pull yeah. the tent, you pull it down, and um, you okay. You reach out, you use your telekinesis, and it just pulls it down in front of him. Just, uh, you right. run inside. Do you run inside? Uh, yeah. For the rest of my movement, I'm gonna run inside. So I... it looks like you have found an abandoned brothel. Well done. Awesome. <laughs> Amazing. Unfortunately, this will separate you from initiative, which is why I don't like doing this. <laughs> But you are no longer in initiative. You are inside the building. Okay, so I'm like, we are now I'm made up like right here, to... right? So I'm like yeah. at the front door. I've run through. Door's still open. And I, I call out the whole time. Get inside! Now! Did, did he right. just leave us? No. He said follow him. Don't you have ears? Well, I, I, well you don't gotta be so rude about it. <laughs> the zombie's back <laughs> alive. Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> Fuck, I couldn't get them all, I'm sorry. <laughs> Gosh. I tried to get as um, many off as possible so that you guys could be able to run. That's a three-way group attack. Oh, we're Gosh. doing just dandy. The dead don't care about your feelings. Oh, gosh. That's a natural 20 on a three-way group Fuck. attack. Oh, just, just gosh. Push, just push my shit in, please. It's one plus three, four doubled is eight. You take eight points of damage. Ugh. Oh, they just fucking drag you under like a zombie with me. Your oh, no. hold on. You are now we bring in the zombies' unique trait. They have overwhelm. For every enemy, for every zombie that is within five feet of you, your movement speed is reduced by five oh, feet. Gosh, it. You guys are. We're doing fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, no, no, no. I got, I got stuff. It's okay. All right. Well, Falaris, you're about to prove that to me. It's your turn. All right. Cool. So I'm just going to shimmy on over to this side right here. Uh, incurring an, another attack of opportunity group attack. Uh, would that be from all of them, or would it just be yep. from the one? Because I'm still in his. Nope. I think you got to disengage uh, to get the fuck you gotta out disengage. of there. You got to disengage. Uh, would that be an action? Yeah. Yes. Shit. Um. If I burning hands, how many would I do I hit? If you burning hands, you could kill all of them. Oh well, then uh, I'm burning hands. The first... Fuck you, people. You, you hit. You can. You can get these two. Get those two. I don't know. Yes. I I'm, I feel like you might. It might be a better idea to, to take the opportunity and disengage, think, and run inside the house. I think you yes, could also right. wipe the two of them out. I could get the two of them out, but they could also come back, and then the ghasts are also an issue. And we're both very squishy, so I think we might be yeah. doing the, the... I might be pulling a slipping Jimmy here, and I'm gonna... Yeah, that was slipping, <laughs> dripping right, Jimmy. Disengage. Keep in mind, your movement speed is 15 feet. Oh, you just move five. I'm not five. gonna make it, though. Damn it. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can try to get the best of both worlds, and I'm going to run without disengaging. Wow. Towards, yeah. Oh, no. All right. I'm running up here without disengaging, okay. so one, two, that's three a, for 15. That's... That's a group attack. Oh, from oh, I forgot that's a group attack. Fuck. Yeah, well, they might miss. You moved. You moved. You moved. And I and, and at the end of it. Hey, look Alrighty. at the good news though. All right. And they rolled. Hold on. They rolled. A, they rolled an eleven to hit. What? Oh, that does not hit. Oh, Hell yeah. yeah. All right, now I'm Let's burning my eight motherfuckers. I if I can angle it, I can hit all three of them and not yeah. throws. So yeah, yeah. fuck you three. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> 
They, they, the, the, the three of them unleash a series of calls, and as they do, you run. You fucking bolt, and you like, I don't know how you dodge all of them, but you get out of there. I just imagine I'm just like flailing and slide under another. <laughs> Drunken yes. master shit, you, you just move. All right, hit them all. Uh, that's three deck saves? Dex, three, three deck saves. It's a four. Hold on, I'm gonna roll a dice with more contrast to its color so I can do this faster. It's a four. That's a, that's a 15. That one. You could still kill him. You could still kill him. You just need to roll above his max hate points. He just might come back to life. That's a two. Right, okay. Wait, actually, no. The one that rolled the four is the one that all... The, the one that rolled well is the one that's already come back to life. So you can probably just wipe them all out. Okay. So roll half damage for the one with the scare face. Correct. Which means he's already come back to life. Boom. Okay, so four plus six, that's ten. Thirteen. Thirteen points of damage? These two, even if he had, it, that's double damage, but half for this guy. He has already come back to life though. So you, um, pull, you like do all of your dodge, tuck and roll. You move over there and you unleash fire. I'm just screaming the whole time. <laughs> they are gone. I'm gonna like turn towards the building and be like, you motherfucker, you have all our potions. <laughs> <laughs> then get it. Oh my gosh. Then uh, get in here. Uh, I'm trying! <laughs> yeah, that guy's dead. This guy is, um... Oh shit, this zombie's not in initiative. Oh no. Uh, this ghast is going to, um, like, sharpen its claws. It is going to roar with fury, and it is going to run at you at oh, full speed. Gosh. Um... Oh, God. Bite attack. Ah. Oh, no. I should have cast mage armor on you. Holy shit. Nine to hit. <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> 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 Fucking 11 <laughs> armor class. <laughs> what are you doing? No I attack of opportunity, know. but it does run over here to ready itself for an attack on Falrus. <laughs> oh, good. Hey, that's fucked up. Wait, is that the one I heard already? Nope, the one you heard already is up here. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, gosh. Okay. This zombie uh, is up uh, up now. He is going to run oh forward. No group attack. To catch it is a hit, though. I'm assuming 14 hands, hits. <laughs> 14, does that, does that hit? Uh, on me? Yes. Uh, I'm going to cast shield again. All right. You will have taken one point of damage, but okay. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm imagining that these gas are both coming for me, too. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, you have the shield all around. So as the zombie comes at you, you see the gas behind you. Um, you raise your hands, okay. and once again, a shield of power um, emanates around you. Right. Awesome. I'm running out of spell slots. It's okay, it's okay. I you got, got this. Plan. I got plan. Um, Ro Ro uh, Roselia is up next. I'm up? Two zombies. Yes, okay. two zombies. Uh, gas up top. Falrus. Shielded. Okay. Uh, first thing I'm doing, uh, Mantle of Inspiration to Falrus uh, as a bonus action. Uh, it spends one Bardic Inspiration. You get five temporary hit points. Uh, and each creature can immediately use its reaction to move up to its speed without provoking opportunity attacks. She sings the most beautiful song. <laughs> Thank Makes you. you feel all nice and fuzzy, Zach. <laughs> yes, <it's laughs> so it, it lets me disengage without what without without provoking yeah, no, you, opportunity you, attacks you oh you don't you can okay. immediately no, so you immediately That's... get to use this as a reaction yeah this is amazing your okay, max speed well, yeah i'm so about to push this shit in <laughs> yeah oh, gosh. Uh, keep in mind when we get to this gas right here um yeah he's gonna run inside we're gonna go into the succubus That's to see how that goes okay. uh roselia you are out you are uh you just did that what else are you doing so is he able to, so he's able to use that to get out, is he able to get out of the wing now, or is he still there? Easily, easily, yes. He can, wait, oh yeah, he can you, use, yes. do you want to move into the succubus? Yes. Please, thank you, uh, okay, I, I need you to you do that. Go okay. to the succubus, right, 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 and the you succubus. can, you are now inside with Maseo. Shit. Yeah. Let go. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> oh gosh, darn it, they're in the same room together. No. <laughs> Uh, so for my action, I am using- I'm casting Thunder Wave at second level, and she's gonna use that to try and, um, push- basically that includes Zombie, the Ghast, and the other one there. Those three. Push them out of the way and use that to, like, dart in there, basically. Amazing. I'm that gonna is roll awesome. three saves. <laughs> okay. Zombie fails. Hell yeah. Zombie Let's fails. Yes! Hell yeah. There, it's- don't- uh, Ghast succeeds. Roll uh -huh. damage. Okay. Fuck. Yeah, okay, so 16 damage. 
16 points of damage to cut in half of the gas, but these two guys, as you, you like, pull the energy in your hand, and you unleash it as you smash the ground, and these two zombies are instantly wiped out. This gas is pushed back. It's not pushed back. He's still there. Right. Oh gosh, yeah, she's gonna- Is there an inch- Is this- Is there an inch nope. here? No, it's- The entrance it's right here. is here. Gosh darn it. Okay, so yeah, she's just gonna have to run by him then. Ugh. That's All so right, scary. Gonna take a, hopefully it does not paralyze you. <laughs> yeah. That would fucking yeah, suck. <gasps> yes! Get in the door, please. Let's get it! Yeah, wait, hold on. <laughs> Let me see if it's confirmed. Let me see if it's confirmed. Oh, gosh. It's not confirmed. Damn. He doesn't slip and fall on his ass. You are in. <laughs> like, Everyone is in the succubus. Like horror movie, just slam the door behind her. Like, that's too Take close. <laughs> maybe, maybe you should have been in the middle. Maybe! <laughs> Now's not the time to argue. They're coming. They're banging on the door. What are you guys doing? Uh, oh, gosh. I'm doing Wait, no, they're not banging on the door. There's no lock. They can open this easily. She's holding mean... the door shut. Behind her. She's holding the door Try, shut. Yeah. Strength. Strength check. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, gosh. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, um, while she's holding it, can I try to stab him through there? Because if they try to go against us, technically we have cover, right? From the door. Yes, yes. That's a good idea. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> so I'm gonna... Uh, would I be, like, to the side of her? Okay. What you rolled might have been bad, but they what, what they rolled might have been worse. They rolled a five. I rolled a two. Mm. Damn it, no! <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> okay, I'll, guess, I'll still say Maseo can, can stab. Gets one stab before she they're spilling in. Okay, okay. Stab. She's got okay, a okay, negative stab. in strength, okay? Let's, let's make the stab happen. Oh my gosh. Okay. Stab. I'll say with I advantage. I keep rolling 11 on my attack roll. Oh my god. You roll uh, with advantage. Oh, with advantage. Okay. Yeah, they don't see it coming. Whoo! 21. 21. Let's that go. hits. Roll damage. That is 9. 9 points of damage. I'll say it is against the one that's already damaged by Falrus. You managed to kill one of them. So just but as it's the like other bashing one? against the, the door, then yeah. like a sword just comes out from the door and just sticks yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> stabs it. Um, but unfortunately, Roselia, you are pushed back, and so is you, so are you fall into him. Yeah. Do I try to catch her, or are you just falling back? Um, <laughs> uh, can I actually move her away with the telekinesis? Sure. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. <laughs> just throw her to the side. This gas looks fucking pissed. Oh, shit. Oh god, Maseo, you're up first. Let's go. Okay. So first thing I'm doing then is I'm moving over towards him and well, I guess it's 15 moving to get up, right? Because I land on the floor. Yep. But I can yep. still just take five feet to walk up for it. And I'm going to as an action, uh i so I'm swapping hands so I can mm -hmm. use one-handed, and I'm gonna try to grapple him. Cause I don't want this little fucker okay. running around. <laughs> Uh, okay, all right. I mean, yeah, sweet. All right, um, okay. make a... Uh, strength athletics, right? Work? Strength, sure. <laughs> 22. Two. Ooh. Plus a lot, but still, it doesn't matter. You grab him. He is now grappled. Boom. So I just pin him down. I, I have to use my sword one-handed when I'm grappling. Yes. But uh, that's my action, though, unfortunately. Just try to hold him down. I imagine I kind of take, like, the butt end of it. And I have like the blood end, like I, I like I'm trying to like strangle him down with it. Yeah, he is very much pissed at you. Uh, he roars again. He's, he's, he's not in the mood right now. <laughs> uh, uh, Falaris, you can take an attack at advantage if you'd like. I, now hit it. I'm going to run up. <laughs> Just <laughs> the bravest thing I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> oh my Just god! Full sprint at him, and I'm just gonna. Palm his face with both hands. Shocking <laughs> just glass. <laughs> oh, okay. Shocking glass. Okay, okay. Fuck okay, yeah. Just slapping uh, it in the what, face. What? What is the? Do you roll an attack advantage? Uh, yes, that's how that works. I don't know. Let me check. Shocking. Uh, that's a twenty-one. Sixteen plus five. So do I just like 21? kind of push him in his direction as yeah. he reaches out? Yeah. <laughs> All right. 21 to hit, roll damage. Okay, uh, it's gonna be 1d8 lightning damage. So, ba 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 ba, boom! That's a four. Boom. Um, a four points of damage? Four points of lightning damage. Alright, well, damage is damaged! It is, it's doing you, you something. <laughs> lightning channels through your hand, electricity sparks through it. It's not as much as you thought, but it's something! Shit! Shit! Ruzili! 
<laughs> Celia, you're up. So he's like kicking around. There's like steam. Like his flesh is like steaming as he's like yeah. electrifying. Everybody's oh screaming. <laughs> With the heroic music in the background. Uh, fuck yeah. Yeah. Roselia is up. What, what are you doing? Oh, wait. Okay. Cra I do. Yeah, she doesn't have anything that won't just hurt all of us. So she freaking pulls out a rapier and just goes in to stab it. Yeah. Make an attack with with advantage. Oh heck yeah! Okay. Oh uh, heck. One sec. Wait. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, it's advantage. So. Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen. That hit. Oh thank God. Okay. Roll damage. Six damage. <laughs> Six damage. <laughs> he's still not dead. Oh God. By this point, he's breaking out. He rolled like a. Well, do, is do, do do you roll against him? Um, like to try to keep him pinned. Yeah, keep him pinned. Fuck it, I'll, I'll do it. Roll, roll, rolled against him. All right, all right. Uh, unnatural twenty. You beat him. He's still pinned. Other hand, like I guess, like I let go for a bit to try to swipe at him. I have to do it one-handed, I guess. And I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna make an attack. All right. Fuck. Finally, a low roll. Uh, ten. Unless I have advantage uh, from that thing. Yes, you have advantage. All right, all right. Ooh, better. Twenty-one. Hits. Roll damage. <laughs> oh, better. D8 plus 3. Uh, 8 slashing. Alright, as you stab down, this fight's yours to finish. How do you want to do this? So, it's getting tased, it's getting stabbed, and I imagine like, I'm like holding it down, and I let go for that moment as I bring the sword up, and with one hand, I come across, just as it turns, about to swipe at me, and I just cleave straight through from like the top end of its head all the way down to its jaw, and split its head in half like that. Oh. Makes one less like pitiful little sound. <laughs> and Maceo backs up, falling back to the ground, and he looks over towards like the uh, little wine uh, chalice, and he picks up whatever's in it and he takes a sip. <laughs> no, this, oh, there's nothing in it. No, this no, place has been abandoned for. So he picks yeah, it up and he's like disappointed <laughs> as he like oh, looks at it and he's like, fuck, and he throws it. You just poison yourself right. and just die right <laughs> <laughs> Did we kill all the zombies? There is no more noise coming from outside. Well, if you don't... But you can make a perception check to look at it more closely. Perception check? Yeah. I'm that. not going back out there. Rose will... You, it, the door the is door's, broken down. Yeah. Uh, Rose will peek her head out and take a look. Uh, can she... Can, it, can I stealth as well? Like, stealth perception? Yeah. Okay. Make a stealth check, yeah. Stealth check and perception check. Yeah, yeah. So, stealth first... Isaiah uh, walks over towards like the remnants of the door. It's just like the hinge, right? And he's like, Yeah, yeah there's nothing. <laughs> like... Okay, ten. You just claws like claw it down. Oh, what, gosh. What, 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 ten for what? Ten stealth, and then. That's not very good. Not the now. Uh, per perception, so 18, 19 for perception. 19. You, got a good you don't notice any other zombies, but you notice something as the mist parts. You see one solitary building has the lights on. Uh-oh. There's... I think there's someone over there. Do you think they're friendly? Whatever it is... Do you think is, they're friendly? I don't know about you. I think we need to sit down for a second. Yeah, Agreed. I'm, I'm going to be perfectly honest, I need a nap. <laughs> and I'm just gonna pass out right there. Oh Secure the I'm just gonna yeah, faint. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make sure it's safe. Secure the, <laughs> secure the building. Yeah. Um, like grab some. It's hard to secure. Uh, by the way, uh, there are rooms. Oh boy. Well, everywhere. If you want to open any of these doors, I'm gonna walk over, and I'm, that's what basically what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna just open the doors, see if there's anything inside. Nothing bad. Looks like this place has been abandoned for a long time. Okay. Ugh. I mean, safe enough, I guess, for a short rest, right? Awesome. All right, cool. Have you guys rolled your hit dice? Yes. Uh, I'm back to full. Oh, let's... Oh, I only got one hit dice left. Uh, gosh. Would, would you guys like to exit the building? All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You guys walk towards the lit up building. And as you... you it seems to be a mill of some sort. Hmm. As I take a step forward, looking back at the rest of the group, 
The door is not locked. Slowly. I, I push it kind of slowly open, and then I'm just going to fucking slam it open. Push it slowly oh, open. Shit. Slam it open. The door. Jeez. Car is down. You see an abandoned mill inside. Gear is not turning. And you see a singular man standing on a walkway. Uh, he turns. He does not seem surprised or shocked. He doesn't even flinch. As the door comes down, he turns around. Well, I heard you were looking for me. He turns around, and he has a single gray eye. And that's where we're going to end today's session. Oh, shit. Oh, Hi, Cro Hi, Crawford. Oh, my fucking God, it's Evan. No, it's <laughs> no, Evan Gray Eye. Evan Gray Eye. Oh, gray shit. Eye. Oh, Gray Eye. Evan Gray oh, has a Gray Eye. Evan Gray Eye. That's <laughs> <laughs> Evan Gray Eye. be surprised. All right, that is going to be it for today's episode of Shadow Over Kerkonos. If you guys enjoyed it, then please do leave a like. If you want to see more of our content, our channels are linked in the description, whether you're on Spotify or on YouTube. And if you guys want to leave your own stories or thoughts, go down into the comments down below. If you can't think of a comment, leave the comment first fight to let me know you made it to the end of the video. In essence, like, comment, subscribe. We will see you all next time. Farewell. Mm -hmm.